But based on this advice, which we very carefully considered, the government has decided that the current measures must remain in place for at least the next three weeks. Now, in terms of the decisions that lie ahead, we want to be as upfront with the British pe people as we possibly can. So let me set out five specific things which the government will need to be satisfied of before we will consider it safe to adjust any of the cur current measures. First, we must protect the NHS's ability to cope. We must be confident that we're able to provide sufficient critical care and specialist treatment right across the UK. The NH staff have been incredible. We must continue to support them as much as we can. Second, we need to see a sustained and consistent fall in the daily death rates from coronavirus, so we're confident that we've moved beyond the peak. Third, we need to have reliable data from SAGE showing that the rate of infection is decreasing to manageable levels across the board. Fourth, we need to be confident that the range of operational challenges, including testing capacity and PPE, are in hand with supply able to meet future demand. Fifth, and this is really crucial, we must be confident that any adjustments to the current measures will not risk a second peak of infections that overwhelm the NHS. The worst thing that we could do right now is to ease up too soon, allow a second peak of the virus to hit the NHS and hit the British people. It will be the worst outcome, not just for public health, but for the economy and for our country as a whole. So, the current restrictions will remain in place. The government will continue to monitor the data on the impact of the virus. We'll soon be able to test 100,000 people every day. That will give us a greater understanding of the scope of infection across the country. It will also help us plan how to change the measures when we're ready to do so. When we are confident on these five points, guided by the science, guided by the data, we will look to adjust the measures to make them as, as effective as possible in protecting public health whilst allowing some economic and social activity to resume. But we will only do it when the evidence demonstrates that it is safe to do it.